Hey everybody, Zero here. I saved the best for last of that live stream the other day. And like I promised, it's something pretty spectacular. <laughs> we just start out, grab C. I'm covering the little fountain area because I expect him to run through there. And then we just run up and grab B. And pretty much go take our places now. And what is it, we're maybe 25 seconds into the game. And if you look at our team positioning, spawn trapped already. So, we keep them like that pretty much the rest of the game. It's it's almost sad, but it's kind of funny to be doing it to someone else and not having it happen to me for a change. I was kind of getting worried yesterday, wondering where am I going to get any some more good gameplay. I don't have any more saved up. And What do you know, Fortune smiled down upon me yesterday, and I ended up having another great day. Linked up with Opposing Force. You probably see him in the comments in some of my videos. And he and I just had a two-man party rolling over teams all day yesterday. And I think we lost maybe two games all day, and that was mainly because we had teams that just didn't know what to do at all. And even sometimes when we had teams that we didn't know what to do at all, we still pulled out a win. And then we linked up with Dutchy DC's live stream again and got on a team that was just as good or maybe even better than this team and just proceeded to roll people all night and didn't lose a single game all night. Of course when you're playing in a team like that, it's kind of hard to get kills, so it's pretty hard to get good gameplay, but I still ended up getting a few games and got a lot of decent clips that hopefully I'll make it into a montage one of these days. Still toying with that idea. I guess the first step would be to find music so I can figure out how to sync everything up and how I want to edit everything. But not exactly sure, so if anybody out there has ever made a montage before and is really familiar with the process, kind of let me know in the comments, tell me a few good steps to take and how to start out. It's, it's something I'm interested in doing, it's just I don't know where to begin, so I think once I get started on it, things will go kind of easier and it'll be a really good learning experience for video editing and things like that. I don't know if I have all the right tools or not. I heard After Effects is really good for it, and some people even use Photoshop CS5, but I don't have either of those, so maybe I'll just have to get creative and see what I can do with whatever I have. If I was a student, I could get After Effects for, like, 300 bucks or something like that. I think it was close to 400 but since I'm not, it's something close to $900. I don't know, I might just have to enroll in a class at community college or something and see if I can get the discount through that. I like taking classes every once in a while. It's always good to keep learning, continue your education. I graduated from college a long time ago, but there's still so many things I just want to learn and so many things I'm curious about that I just like taking classes when I have the spare time, which honestly really isn't all that often. But I think if I was rich and I won the lottery or something and I had all sorts of spare time, I'd probably spend most of my time traveling, and if I wasn't traveling, I'd probably spend it just taking classes, learning about things, and maybe while I was traveling, maybe I'd take classes in other places and just learn different things. I'm just a curious person. I don't know. Everything I hear, I always wonder more about it and want to learn more about it, and then the more I learn, the more I find out that I don't know about the subject, and the more I want to dig deeper and deeper and deeper into it. Kind of when I was young, I got interested in computers and ended up taking uh, electronics in high school, and then in college I ended up taking more electronics and things like that, but after I got into electronics and figured out how that worked, I kind of got more curious about the very basics of that, so I kind of got into physics and magnetic fields and electromagnetic, and then that leads down into the quantum physics, and it just keeps going deeper and deeper, so I kind of have to watch what I get interested in or else I'll end up spending a whole lot of time just researching, researching something that has no bearing in my life and is never going to amount to anything, but I think learning video editing would be a good thing. You never know, it could possibly lead to a new career somewhere down the road, which I'd definitely like to have. That damn guy with the flamethrower. That's like the most useless weapon and I get killed by it can't figure out why it's banned in MLG and some game battles, because it's absolutely useless. So I don't know why they would ban it. So I guess people might be curious. I don't think I've ever mentioned it before, but since I mentioned college and things like that, I'm sure 
one of these days I'll get asked what my degree is in, and I have a degree in lasers and electro-optics. It's an extremely specialized field, and unfortunately I don't use my degree at all in my current job. In fact, I have pretty much forgotten everything I learned about electronics and even lasers ever since I got out of college. I mainly do technical writing and things like that now, and I'm a glorified mechanic, really, when it comes down to it. I just turn a wrench and then write procedures for turning a wrench every once in a while, so... It's a pretty boring job, but I wish I'd gone into the lasers field, because a lot of the people that I graduated with are now, like, senior project managers at, like, defense contractors and things like that. And I thought about doing that, but the job stability and the starting pay at those companies wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I went to a semiconductor company instead, and now I'm really regretting that, because a lot of these people that are senior project managers at defense contractors were, you know, graduated very low in the class, just barely graduating, and I graduated, I pretty much had the top grade in the class in every class that I was in. So, hindsight is 2020. I see my mistakes now. And now the company that I work at basically won't hire me for any job above what I'm doing now because I don't have a PhD, which they didn't require a PhD for it when I started, and I thought, you know, I was well on my way to doing it and working my way up the ladder, and I pretty much maxed out where I am, so if I was to switch over to a defense contractor company or something like that, which I probably can't even do that because I forgot everything and don't have really any of the skills that I had anymore because I worked in a really specialized job and really only know how to do one thing anymore, so I'd probably have to start entry level again if I switch jobs, which is really depressing, especially considering I've been at the place I've been at for 11 years, so I have a massive amount of experience and a whole lot of skill that just doesn't transfer very well. So, I guess I made a mistake. It's one thing to keep in mind when you're uh, searching for jobs in the future. Always, uh, always look at what it's going to bring and the opportunities it's going to open up for you because I thought I was choosing a good path. I thought I was doing something that would set me up pretty well for the future because I had good pay, good benefits, everything else, but I didn't really look at where I was going to go from that and what doors that would open for me in the future. I kind of just planned on doing that till I retired, which I don't know why I ever did that. Nobody ever works one job from beginning to retirement anymore. And I started when I was 19, and I'm 31 now, so I'm getting pretty tired of it, especially now that I have nowhere to go. I can't advance, really. I kind of had a conversation with my boss about that this week, and I think he knows I'm looking for other jobs at this point in time. Not really looking to leave, because I do kind of like my job at times, but I'm getting bored with it. There's nowhere to go. That's part of the reason I'm doing all these videos and learning video editing and things like that. At least it's a marketable skill somewhere, and eventually it might be able to lead to something, or at least open up a door somewhere. But anyway, I bitched enough. That's the video. As you can see, we stomped all over them and just shit on their chest. If you like what you saw, feel free to give a thumbs up, leave a comment. As always, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. I'll see you around.